guys. It has been pretty much an eternity since I last filmed. Um, it feels really weird to be sitting down. I don't, I don't know how to do an intro anymore, apparently. Um, I have no idea what to say, but I've been uh, promising this particular tutorial to a friend for pretty close to a year now and not delivering. And so I had the time and motivation today and I said, screw it, we're just gonna bust out the phone. Um, no fancy lights, camera set up. We are just in my bathroom with the phone taped to the mirror, but I've got my cute little Artemis headband on to keep my bangs out of my face. And I am gonna show you guys how I do my nose contouring for cosplay and photography. So um, it's pretty straightforward, but it's a method that I haven't found any other tutorials on. I kind of had to develop it myself when I was learning how to contour because I have a very narrow Roman sort of nose that sticks out decently but doesn't have a lot of width or shape side to side and I know a lot of you guys um, have a similar face shape and um, experience the same problems so hopefully this helps you guys out. So to start out I'm going in with the Spoiled Cosmetics Romantic Getaway Palette which is really fantastic. The shades have a mauve sort of purpley undertone which is great for my pale skin and doesn't turn grayish with powder. On a flat shader brush I'm just mixing shades number 3 and 6 and I'm going to use those to carve out the tip of my nose starting by marking the sides. Once the sides are marked out, I can decide um, how high I want the tip of my nose, do I want it turned up, turned down, and just make a little U shape under the bottom, um, and then shade underneath the lower edge, just so that it's fully shadowed and there's no odd highlights underneath. Next I'm taking shade 3 on that same flat shader and I'm actually going to go around the outside edge of the nostril, um, working it right into the crease and blending out slightly. And I'm actually going to take that line and connect it with the U shape that we created for the tip of the nose to outline the nostril. And of course we just want to blend that shadow out. Repeat on the other side, again working the shadow into the crease, and again connecting it with the U shape that we made for the tip. At this point we're looking a little bit crazy, but I promise you it'll all come together in the end. Now we're going to draw a slightly curved line to define the top of the nose tip, just connecting the two tails of the U, and we're going to sweep that contour shade up the edge of the nose into our natural shadow. I really like to move my head around and look at myself in the mirror from different angles as I'm blending in the contour so that I can adjust the depth of color and the shape as I go so that it really looks natural from a variety of different angles and not just from straight on. And you just want to continue refining the shape, buffing and blending as you go until you're happy with the shape that you've created. Because I have a deviated septum, I like to use my contouring to make my nose look as straight as possible. Now we're going to do some highlighting and for this I'm going to take this little bit psycho palette from BH Cosmetics in the shade White Lies, uh, but you can use any pigmented matte white. And I'm just taking it on my pinky finger and just dotting it on the tip of my nose and sweeping the excess up the bridge. Next I'm going to take that same shade on a small fluffy brush and I'm going to use that to enhance the highlight on the bridge of my nose even more, just to make that really stand out. Um, and blending the edges of it. And I'm also going to use that just to buff out the edges of the highlight on the tip. I'm also going to use that shade to highlight the nostrils. 
just to bring them forward a little bit so that the sides of my nose don't appear as flat. And sometimes I'll even go in with my fingers to blend out the edges a little bit um, just to soften it up. And just like with the contour shades, I like to look at it from a number of different angles and adjust the shape as I go to make sure that I'm happy with the way it looks from all sides and not just the front. And once I'm happy with the highlight, I'm going back in with my contour shade and my flat shader brush and just refining the tip even more, um, just making it a little bit more narrow um, and taking a lighter contour shade just to blend out the edges and soften it. And just because I can, I'm also using that contour shade to go back and deepen up the shadows even more. And yes, there is a reason we're going so heavy with the contour right now, uh, which we'll get to shortly. And once I've decided that I'm happy with the shape of it, um, I am ready to move on with the rest of my contouring. Going back in with the Romantic Getaway Palette, I'm gonna start contouring my chin very similarly to the way I did my nose, just marking out the sides and then sweeping under the bottom. This is going to give me what I like to refer to as the Disney Princess slash Reese Witherspoon chin. It's just gonna create kind of a cute little heart-shaped face rather than quite so oval. And for this and the rest of my contour routine, I'm just going to kind of speed through it um, because it's not the main focus of this video. And while I did want to include it, I don't think it's nearly as unique of a technique as what I do for my nose contour. Once I've roughed in the shape of the chin, I'm going to take the Misha Cotton Contour in the shade Salted Hot Choco on a medium fluffy brush. And I'm going to use that to buff out the edges and bring it all of the way up the jaw. And this is just going to add some nice definition to the jawline while still looking very natural. If you're super pale like me and have trouble finding contour shades with a cool enough undertone, I highly recommend looking at Korean beauty brands. And don't forget to take that contour shade all the way under the chin up to where it meets your neck so that the illusion isn't broken when your head is tilted up. I'm also going to use that same shade to define my hairline, um, just to shorten my forehead a little bit and make it look slightly smaller. And if you're not going to be wearing a wig, you want to make sure to take it up into your hairline as well, just so you don't end up with a lighter line. I like to use a slightly darker contour shade for this. And then with the same cotton contour shade and fluffy brush, um, I'm just going to define the very top of my cheekbones right where it meets my hairline. You really don't want to bring this down too far, especially if you have a pretty narrow face or you'll just end up looking gaunt. Now I'm going in with a powder foundation. This one is the J-Cat Aqua Assurance in the shade 100 Porcelain. And now you'll see why we went so heavy with the contour initially. Buffing this powder over all of the areas that we contoured previously is going to make everything look beautifully blended, but is going to tone down the contouring somewhat. So we want to go heavy enough in the first place that once it's toned down by the powder, it's still distinctly visible. And then if you want to, you can go back in with our matte white and just add a little bit of highlight to the chin. And if you didn't get enough sleep the night before, which I usually don't, you can also use it to brighten up the under eyes. Next, we're gonna take a glowy blush. This is the Catrice Strobing Blush, which might be discontinued, but any glowy blush will do. And we're gonna sweep that right onto the apples of our cheeks. And doing it this way will just make your cheeks look nice and full. Um, you actually want to come much higher and much closer to the center of your face than you think. If you feel like you're hitting the under eye and the edge of your nose with your blush brush, you're applying it in the right place. 
I also like to sweep a little over the tip of my nose, but you can skip this part if it's not for you. Now I'm going to take my medium contour shade and sweep that into the crease of my eye with a fluffy blending brush. And I'm also going to sweep it just under the outer half of my eye. And then with my darker contour shade, I'm going to add just a little bit more definition to the outer half of my crease. And if you need to, you can blend both of those colors out even further with a lighter shade. Dipping back into the BH Cosmetics palette in the shade Black Magic, I'm going to tap off the excess so it doesn't drop onto my face. And I'm going to use a little pencil brush to just make a triangle in the outer corner of my eye, um, almost like a winged liner shape, but a little bit thicker. And this is going to be significantly easier than drawing a wing if you are one of those people who is scared of getting your winged liner even. We do want this to be a soft shape, so you'll want to go in with a fluffy brush and just blend out the edges just to keep everything nice and blown out. In this case, I also used my flat shader brush to blend the edge out a little bit more, uh, just because my fluffy blending brush wasn't doing quite what I wanted. And of course, repeat on the other side. You'll notice I'm not bringing the black all the way into the inner corner. I'm just going slightly more than halfway along the lash line. Since I'm not wearing any liner with this look, I really want to get the black right into the lashes so there's no light spots. And at this point, I decided that my nose contour was still a little heavier than I wanted. So I went back in with my powder foundation and a dense powder brush just to blend it out and soften it even further. Now all that's left is to add some sparkle. For this I'm dipping into my MAC Double Gleam on my medium fluffy brush and I'm sweeping that right up around my orbital bone. Then taking the same shade on a small blender brush, I'm just going to put a tiny bit right under the highest point of my arch and a little bit on the inner corner of my eyes. If you want to, you can also dot a little bit on the tip of your nose or a very fine amount on your cupid's bow because too much will look like a milk mustache. And if you want to get even more extra, you can use that flat shader brush to just draw a little line right under your bottom lip to add some more fullness. So yeah, that is how I do my contouring for cosplay. Um, primarily the nose contour, of course, and then just a little bit of face shaping. Um, so this is the end result. <laughs> Obviously my bangs cover the forehead a bit, which is uh, one of the reasons that I cut my bangs in the first place when I decided to do it, so that I don't need to worry about turning my five head into a forehead. But um, hopefully, this is helpful for you guys to kind of figure out how to contour your face shape if most of the uh, generic um, contouring tutorials out there on YouTube and in the internet space don't really work for you. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, Chuck, this one's for you. I've been promising. So here you go. <laughs> Bye guys.